And new at 10, the Katy community is remembering a high school cheerleader. Her parents are sitting down for an interview after they say she suffered cardiac arrest at a cheer camp. Grace White is live at Morton Ranch High School with the interview you only see here on KHOU 11 News tonight. Grace. I sat down with Callie Mitchell's parents tonight. They are heartbroken but determined to tell her story. She would have been a junior here at Morton Ranch High School this fall, and they told me she died doing what she loved, cheerleading. She was like sunshine. For Michelle and Scott Donahue. Always wanted to befriend anyone and everyone. There is no greater loss than their 16-year-old daughter, Callie Marie Mitchell. She left for cheer camp on um, a Monday and she was super excited. Her mother will never forget the moment the cheer coach called from the camp they were attending at Texas A&M. She called me and said, hey, does Callie have trouble waking up in the morning? I was like, no, never. Her parents jumped in their cars and drove to College Station. When they got there, they learned that same coach had performed CPR on Callie. If it wasn't for Eberly, we would have never had the chance to say goodbye. Callie was airlifted from College Station to Texas Children's in Houston. She died on August 1st. Probably it was a cardiac arrest that happened first that was caused from long QT syndrome. It's a genetic disorder that affects the electrical system that controls your heart. If this for any other parents out there, I know they do physicals every year. EKGs are not part of a physical. Get an EKG. Their daughter, who started out cheering at the age of two for her brother's little league team, never did. What did Callie teach you? Faith. Faith, for sure. And even on Instagram, she took a stand for what she believed. Her parents want her to be remembered for the last words she wrote. His plan over mine. More than anything, she would want them to have faith in God and know that they are redeemed. Grace, those parents speaking tonight, but what do other parents need to know to prevent this? Mia, there's actually been legislation passed. It's called Cody's Law. The governor signed it in 2019. It requires parents to be given the option to get EKGs on their student athletes. And Callie's parents tonight tell us they're also doing genetic testing on their other children as a precaution. <laughs> My goodness, Grace White tonight with that very difficult story. Thank you.